Salted caramel hot chocolate, half sweet with whipped cream. <sighs> Tuesday, February 5th. It's a little past noon. It's actually a uh, quarter to one. I just got back from a nice breakfast with a friend of mine um, who I hadn't seen in a while and then we hooked up this past fall. But she found me through uh, my channel. She, uh, she actually found me through my blog and it was nice to hook up with her again. She discovered rubber stamping not too long ago. She, I think she was into jewelry making for a while, but she just discovered rubber stamping and she gifted me with the cutest thing ever. I just have to show you. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you as well the card that I made last night for the tutorial. So that's the card I made for the tutorial Tuesday over at Scrapbook Central last night. I really like how it turned out and I think I'm going to reproduce it several times and include it in my perpetual calendar book to give away during the year. Uh, I want to make it in different color schemes but basically it's just um, stamping, over stamping with different stamps and inks and there's also heat embossing here in the background. The, the sky is made with different colors of distress inks. So these are all the colors that I used. And I used the embossing ink to emboss the flower. And I'll give you a close up after I'm, I'm showing you all the colors. And the actual flowers at the bottom were stamped with different colors of archival inks. And the sentiment was stamped in cobalt. I also used the jet black for the butterfly. Pale ochre, rose matter, and olive. And all of this created this beautiful background, which I absolutely love. I love this technique. I love the layering effect, the, the depth that you can give your work using paler inks to create sort of like ghost images. And this is the, um, the clear embossing over the vanilla cardstock. And for the, um, the clouds, I use the pearl dabber. And as I was saying, I met a friend of mine for breakfast and look at what she made. This is so cool. Look at this pouch. Do you see the reflection? This is actually wax paper. So what she did is pretty ingenious actually. And she made that beautiful button. Let me give you a close up. Look how pretty it is. Gorgeous. Um, so what she did is she took a dictionary page. Whoops. She took a dictionary page and she um, she covered it with wax paper, the front and the back, and she sewed it. And she also included a little piece of pattern paper right here on the front. Isn't that cute? I mean, how? Oh, and she stamped too. I just noticed. <laughs> she stamped with uh, Tim's um, stamp sets. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I thought it was the greatest idea ever. And she also included a few baubles in there. Uh, stuff to make jewelry. <gasps> Look at all of these. I didn't have a chance to really... Oh my goodness. Ah! I didn't have a chance to look at the whole packaging over there, but she included, oh my goodness, jump rings and hat pins, bead caps. Look at that. And some, I guess this is a rope to make jewelry. Oh, it's silk. It looks like silk. Yeah, silk cord. How beautiful. And some attachments here. Ah, pretty baubles. Oh, look at that. Look at this button. Oh, there's two of those. And two of these. Ah, I'm loving it. Oh my goodness. And look at these. How cute. Oh, I'm going to have fun with that. And there's even, uh, this is a locket. This is the one I looked at at the restaurant. You can include a little photo or a stamped image or whatever you want in there. Isn't that fun? Thank you again, Suzanne, for that beautiful loot. Um, and as much as I love the treasures, I think I'm in love with the envelope more. Isn't it cute? Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. I need to reproduce that. Thanks for the idea. Um, so that is it for my show and tell portion of today. I have to head back to the store. I need to drop off a few things. 
and buy a few things. I promised myself I was going to be good, but the stamp sets that I used yesterday to make the card, I know I have stamps, uh, you know, flower stamps or tree stamps or whatever, but these are so neat. And one in particular, um, the sentiment stamp set that I used yesterday is fabulous. And I've become recently addicted to archival inks. Sure. I'm going to pick up my check, turn around, and just hand it over to Natalie. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to spend the whole thing, but I do need to buy a few things because Dina Wakely is coming to the store this weekend. We're really excited. And uh, I put aside some stencils that we'll be using this weekend. So this weekend, I'm not giving, I'm not doing a tutorial. I'm not giving a class. I'm actually following a class, which is exciting. I don't do that too often, so it's always fun. So it's going to be a weekend of fun activities. Uh, so I'm going to pick up my stuff right now, head to the store, and hopefully I'll have time to put together my perpetual calendar with the Graphic 45 Birdsong collection to complement my easel calendar. I know I've talked about it a lot, but it needs to get done. So hopefully I'll have something else to show you tonight. Everybody, Wednesday, February 7th, all day long, I thought, no, it's not even February 7th. See, I did it again. Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> oh boy, we're February 6th. Um, the calendar I made, the Graphic 45 calendar, I had downloaded a calendar, the little months, from the internet. And unbeknownst to me, and I never really noticed, the weeks start with Mondays. And I'm used to the Sunday through Saturday calendar. So this morning I had to do something that was supposed to be done yesterday, but I didn't have the information. So I ended up doing it before breakfast. And I looked at my calendar and I looked at the middle date of the calendar of the week, which is the 7th. Uh, my eyes immediately went to the 7th, but we're not the 7th, we're the 6th because the week starts on the Monday, so actually the, the day that's in the middle is Thursday. So, uh, and that threw me off all day. I've been in a weird frame of mind just because of that. So, um, hopefully I was uh, managed to correct a mistake and hopefully that didn't have too many impacts or too much impact. But all this to say that my, my day is so weird right now. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I need to leave soon to go pick up Steph because she's coming over to um, to paint some more. And I'm upset at myself because last night she finished a painting that she was doing for a gift for Valentine's Day. And I filmed and I just erased the footing. So, the, oh, the footing, the footage. Um, I know she's taken pictures, so I will when it's time because like I said I explained to you that I couldn't show it to you before Valentine's Day so after Valentine's Day she did do a time-lapse uh, film of her painting the, uh, the these two people uh, so I'll be linking to her channel for that but I'll have a picture I'll post a picture on on my vlogs so anyways Weird things are happening today, and it's it's a little upsetting, but life goes on. Um, tomorrow, I have a lot of business to attend to, family and, and work, so I probably won't have time to vlog. Um, but I did start my perpetual calendar, which is over here. I will do a flip through um, probably sometime tonight, and I'll insert the footage right here. I have also found an interesting way to add the um, the days of the month instead of putting them in front of the, uh, the pockets that I made because each page here I'll show you each page is a pocket. It's a piece of 12 by 12 that you fold uh, first down the middle and then four inches from the bottom and that creates the signature. So here's a pocket and here's another pocket to put cards. Yeah. So she and uh, Yolanda puts the um, the numbers 1 through 31 in the front pocket here but I'm going to make it different and I, I thought of this idea yesterday while I was putting this together so it's it's not finished here's the cover and I I um, I covered a piece of chipboard all nicely I love how the corners are nice and mit uh, mitered 
Is that how you say it? I think it is. Um, so I'm going to show you that when I'm done. And I intend to do some cards with the leftover pieces. I have quite a bit of paper left over. And, you know, I don't want to do all of the cards with a Japanese theme. But um, I'll do as many as I can. And then I'll probably insert a few in this book and then some different ones. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to have time to show you or how much I'm going to have time to do in terms of um, projects and playing but whatever I have all inserted here. Here's my book! Yay! I finished my perpetual calendar and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I added this two strands of beads and these are some of the beads that my friend Suzanne gave me this week and this bead here, this flat bead, I love it because I thought I thought it was an Asian looking bead, uh, but I think it's more like Egyptian, but oh well, it works. <laughs> I like it. So what I did with this book is very, very simple. The cover is also extremely simple. I didn't want to have too much um, bulkiness to it. I wanted to be able to just grab it like that. And plus, because I'm going to add some cards inside of it, I didn't want the, you know, I didn't want the extra weight. Um, so of course I used again the Songbird collection from Graphic 45 and I bound it with the Bind It All and I have to say the Bind It All machine really intimidates me and because I don't use it often enough I need to practice with it. So I started with the back cover and because I'm dealing with a piece of chipboard a pattern paper on both sides and then I added this mat which is um, pattern paper and cardstock when I went to push this piece inside or in in the uh, the machine to uh, punch the holes this part here wasn't all the way down so I ended up punching way too close to the sides here but uh, luckily it didn't punch all the way through so I was able to repunch the piece and uh, I ended up having to remove this mat here and the other one inside here as well because especially on the cover this thing wouldn't even go through uh, because I've got another mat on the other side as opposed to the back cover which doesn't. So for the cover uh, what I did is I just took some a sticker alpha stickers from the, the sticker sheet and I wrote birthday I didn't write. I, I didn't want to put anything other than that on the book. I thought that was sufficient. I know what it is. And instead of adding some embellishments, I decided to embellish the paper. And so I took some stickles and I added some stickles to the stars and on this lantern right here. And I also added glossy accents for on three of the lanterns so this one here and in the middle of that one and this one so that was just enough I didn't want to do all of the lanterns because I thought it would be way too much so I like it and inside I showed you how the papers were folded so I have all my six signatures here and they form a pocket for each of the months where I'm going to be adding the cards and I'll show you some of the cards that I've made already and I kept it very simple again um, what I did do though is add a piece of printed ribbon whoops on the uh, the top of the pocket here so I alternated between the three types of ribbon that I have and the, the lace I need to trim this I need to do something about that one so very simple the other thing that I uh, did that was uh, that is different from Yoli Bean's uh, book is that um, she had her months in front here in the front pocket, but this paper is so beautiful, I didn't want to cover it up. So what I did is I went on my computer and I printed the numbers 1 through 31 and printed them on cardstock. And I took a round tab punch from Stampin' Up! and I punched up uh, I punched out a tab for each of um, each of these sheets and then in front of each of them I added the month so January and then on the other side is February so it's just one sheet 
for the two months and um, I added some here at the bottom I added um, a piece of sticky tape so that way the bottom is not it's not a bottomless bit <laughs> and I can just slide this card in between right here like so so I did all the months right here on each page I'm just gonna flip through real quickly to show you that beautiful paper love that and on um, I didn't have enough letters I didn't have enough of the same letters for all the months so I ended up having to use these ones which are a little bit bigger than uh, the little aqua ones so I had to put the month here down below it just looks a little bit different and the, and the uh, the letters are stuck one on top of the other but that's okay I still like it and September October and November December and the back I love my little book <laughs> I think it's cute so let me show you some of the cards that I've had time to make um, I'm going to put this aside for now and <laughs> believe it or not I have enough paper to probably make about 50 cards I'm not I'm not joking that's how many how much paper I still have left so after I've done my calendar and the, the book I still have a lot of the paper so the cards obviously I really kept them very simple um, this one here I just want to attract your attention to this little guy here look at the pearl that's not a pearl this is perfect pearls uh, not perfect pearls liquid pearls um, it really hold on for a sec let me just do this a little bit better ah here you can probably see that one do you see how nice and round it is that's the new formula that they decided to use for the this batch of liquid um, liquid pearls I love it so all I did for this one is I cut out the image I, I um, matted it in black and I used that paper as a background for most of the cards that I made today and I just added a little blue ribbon and that's the one that has the most dimension believe it or not I have this one here which I, I love as well and I took my Sakura gel pen the uh, the jelly roll yeah clear star whoops clear star pen I love this pen it it just flows it's it's just amazing whoops it dries very quickly and it adds just that nice touch to a card I added some here on the flowers and on the birds just around the neck and I added a piece of ribbon here so this uh, layer here is popped the next one I made two of them and they're but they're different it's the same image it's the um, the bird and the flowers that I fussy cut so on this one I added glossy accents on the bird and I just added some um, stardust pen only at a few places and then on the background I did the trees look at that how shiny that is I love it so I did the tr the uh, these uh, trees and the willows and a bit of the water lines and I added that line that line is already on the paper I just followed the outline with the gel pen and then this one this one's a little bit different it, there's a lot of jelly roll uh, jelly roll <laughs> But that's what it's called. It's jelly roll. I added more um, glitter pen on the uh, the leaves of that tree right here. Look how gorgeous! I'm a big fan of glitter. I also added some glitter on the bird here and uh, that line again. And the last one that I just finished is very simple again. I added different elements. I love that purple. And it's probably the only image, I think, of the whole lot that has quite a bit of purple. So I thought it was just, you know, different. And what I ended up doing is adding a little bit of the uh, purple liquid pearls inside the uh, the flowers here on their kimono. 
I didn't add any sentiments to these cards because I still don't not sure what they're going to be used for or who they're going to be given to. Um, but they're ready. They're ready. I just need to add a sentiment. And what I would do now is include the cards with an envelope here in the pockets. You know, depending on how many uh, people I have for that month. Here. I mean, can you see that? All your cards would be ready for the whole year. The only thing, my only regret with this is that I didn't have a wire that was bigger than that. So when the book is actually closed, it's starting to fan again uh, already. But I'm okay with that. It can actually sit like this on the desk and it would look pretty. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I think I'm going to take a break from uh, Birdsong for a while because, <laughs> I mean, although the paper is really, really nice, I need to do something else. So it's 4.30 I think. I don't have my watch. It's 4.30. Um, I'm gonna fiddle around a little bit and pick up Steph after work. She's gonna come here and we're gonna get to play some. I don't feel like cooking tonight so I think I'm gonna pick up some pizza and for those of you who don't know I have celiac disease but pizza pizza um, is it pizza pizza? Yeah pizza pizza they make gluten-free pizza so I'm gonna go pick up some have that tonight for dinner and I hope you're having a creative day thanks for watching and I will see you later bye mm -hmm.